Hey everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we're gonna show you one of the most important thing if it comes to paper jam on a brother machine. We're using an MFC A triple eight zero DN. Uh, that machine is a brother machine. So now what happens? It was saying paper jam, document jam, and all that. You get me? Uh, the scanner jam. Then press. Okay, it says. Uh, let me let me let me get you this message. It's gonna show well. It's coming back. Clear the scanner jam. Then press the stop key. Yeah. So okay, you can see that. But that's not the issue. So I had a paper jam. Whenever I put in, uh, even if I put the thing on the scanner here. Even if I put it on the scanner, the issue was it was not scanning. Oh no, it could show me this message of the paper jam. So only f to find out the issue was one. Look at these sensors. You see there are two sensors on each side. There is this, which senses the paper. So, and there is this. So, uh to amazement this was going the was going down and stick in the and doesn't come back let me give you something okay so so it was sticky even if there was no paper but it was stuck stacking here so if, if if it stacks here it simply means it will never it gonna show a paper jam so there's a paper which is jammed here so even if you don't put anything in the documents feeder it will gonna feel like sense like there is a paper jam that was my issue so what i did i took out everything tried to clean it blow it in blow in here because to dismantle everything is not something that easy but anyway then i used a cloth with some little water i tried to come here using this small small particle stuff small small tiny equipment then i clean on the sides here so i try to take out the what they did the dust the dust was one of the causes of the sticking this uh, thing to stick you understand so then i'm gonna send it to my client after cleaning it giving it another clean so it's very important when you're using a machine especially in places with dust and uh, all those things is dust which you can't even see so what you do you cover them your machine with a cloth every day before you leave the office so that gonna save you a lot of headaches so okay so we're done with that paper jam you can see all of this what i've done so i'm gonna try to clean everything here you can see all these things should be cleaned nicely so once you clean them, you're going to be on the safe side. Because every time when it picks up the paper, sometimes the papers are what? Are dirty. So that date, date on that, it causes a very huge headache. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to unscrew here. On this side, also, I clean these rollers. I'm going to wash them just with a simple, normal water. I take them off, clean them, then... That's going to be fine. So once that is done, you'll never see that paper jam. So I don't have a paper jam anymore, though. You can see this message. So I'll put this back as it was. It's going to sit here, somewhere like here. So it's going to be able to, then I cover everything as it was. Then I'm going to be able, the paper will be able to turn. But that, you can see even this. If you have a chance and you can clean up this, you should clean up all parts you can touch your hands on. You understand? So, me, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this first. I know that this is done. Then I can clean off also this. You understand? So, whatever you see this dirt, it's gonna cost sometimes paper jams and stuff. But then, our major issue was not that. The major issue, guys, you saw the issue where it was. It was this sensor. You get me check all those sensors if they are not down if the sensors are down then it's an issue 
they shouldn't be what? They shouldn't be down. All the sensors should be fine. Well, guys, uh, yeah, so those are the tips I gave you. So there's no paper jam anymore here uh, because the paper now passes through nicely. Because it passed through nicely, so it's, it's, it, 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 it's, I, I can't show you. But that's my issue. So, but once I discovered that, I told myself I'm going to do it and I do a video to help a lot of or thousands of brother printer users. It could also happen like it's uh, the same issue with another machine, different machine, but on the feeder, it's something like that. Well, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna do work, do my stuff, let it work, uh, do my stuff so well, so that everything comes 100%. So after that, I'm gonna do a video, send it to my client. I tell her, okay, come, your machine is 100% fine. Yeah, well, uh, you might find also, it could be that there's a paper inside here. Once you take off all these covers on the, but you know, you make a video when you're making up the cover, if it's not the first time, if it's your first time to do this, sometimes there are some stones which can be in here, making the gears not to engage or something to stack or dust and stuff, you get me? So you can do a good blowing. Uh, you can see even here, you can do blowing and all that, you get me? So that could be the issue. So I'm going to also work on this. If there are some issues, I'm going to give you a video. This is Samsung. Uh, we work on a couple of machines. Uh, that's a Samsung. And uh, we have HP here. HP here. Got a HP here. A couple of machines that have HP. We have Minolta. We have a lot of things. Uh, okay. We are based in Johannesburg. In case you have an issue, you can send in your machine uh, here. We have, we work on Minolta's, we work on Raikos. Um, I have a Toshiba somewhere here, here. There is a Toshiba somewhere there. Uh, that's a Toshiba, yes, it should be a Toshiba. Yeah, guys, well, that's it. These are HPs, all of them, all of them. So, that's it. This is a Doblo. What do they call this machine? Forgot the name of this machine. But it's like a rise of thing, rise of graph, but it's not. Okay, well, guys, um, yeah, now the, the, the issue is you have to know where each and every screw came from. That's the thing. Yeah, no, guys, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.